toward the end of last year, the Lord said to me, he's going to accelerate things in my life. And he said, I know how to talk, but he's going to teach me how to speak. And I didn't know, understand what those things meant. Uh, starting in April, I was honored by a Hall of Fame in, in Atlantic City, which was truly an honor. And that brought the attention to other organizations, uh, one in Florida, one in North Carolina. And I am now a member of those organizations as well. The organization in North Carolina is the one that had me fly out to Las Vegas in June, where I was inducted into the Martial Arts Hall of Fame. <laughs> Well, all this has opened other things where, yeah, I was uh, featured in a local newspaper article where I grew up at, and SouthJersey.com included me on a list of people to know in New Jersey. <laughs> and, <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> and in the midst of all that, I've also been cast in a martial arts film. Uh, it's a it's a documentary style film, and I've been shooting in the Bronx, Absecon, Brigantine, and Atlantic City. And I'm going to be one of the featured martial artists in there that talks about their journey through martial arts to show people, you know, what you can do. On top of everything else, <laughs> I reconciled with my ex-wife, and we were remarried. <laughs> What I thought God was done. <laughs> a member from Dr. John C. Maxwell's team reached out to me to train under him to be a motivational speaker. Uh, my, train my training begins in September, and it's, you know, I didn't know very much about him, I just knew his name, but. They said that I would train under him, and they invited me to come to their live event in Florida in March because they already had me slated to be one of the speakers in Atlanta <laughs> in, in August of 2020. And the, the young lady I talked to was so funny because she said, you know, how do you feel about speaking? I said, I'm terrified by it. <laughs> I said, I go through a syndrome where I get the butterflies. I said, and then when I walk up, they turn into bats, you know. <laughs> and, and she said, you know what, that's refreshing because we will help you through that. So I start training with him, you know, and his team members next month to be a motivational speaker because when I talked to her for half an hour on the phone, she said, just what you've told me in a half an hour, I just want to know more and more. And you've inspired me to do things, and I don't have anything wrong with me, you know. <laughs> and one of the things that the Lord highlighted to me last week in my, in my reading and with a video I saw was John chapter 5, verses 1 through 8, with the man that was crippled for 38 years. And he was just trying to get into, you know, the water when it was stirred up, and the Lord showed me that my plan was good, but his plan is better. <laughs> and this year alone has been the most incredible year I've ever had. And I also want to thank Pastor Tim and Beth and everyone here, because you're right, I walked in in April of 2013 in Morristown, and it's changed my life ever since. And I love all of you, and I'm grateful that I'm, you know, part of this family. So thank you all.